Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan Lake here with Boardwalk Builders and today I want to go over some nail guns. Ones that we use, ones that I use personally, and the one that we use the most. I'd love to have this be interactive. I would love if some people would leave some comments, some likes, uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel, but most importantly I would love it if you would comment. I want to hear everybody's feedback on the guns that I have available today. The ones that you use, the ones that you think we should use, and the ones you think we should get rid of. So first off is one that I actually got off of Facebook Marketplace because I got a great deal on it, is this Hitachi. Um, it's battery powered. I got a couple small 3 amp batteries. So far so good. I've used it on a few renovations, um, small projects, building closets, um, just nothing crazy. But ran the whole day, shot a lot of nails, I didn't have any jams. Um, the pros of it, didn't have any jams, I, just like I said, feeds the nails good, I like how it holds them, seems solid, I like the point of the gun, this really sinks into the wood, here you can see it a little bit better, the cons are it's heavy, and I hate the look of it with this aerosol pan looking thing on the side of it, I know the Milwaukee has that as well, um, I love the look of it from this side, it looks like a nice, almost like a finish gun, this profile, um, but I hate the look of this thing on the backside, and it is so heavy. So when you're shooting stuff up over your head, and you're sitting there holding it, and you got to go down a whole sheet of plywood, several rows or something, I can see this really, really wearing on the old shoulder. So I like it. It's a good gun. I would recommend it. Um, I'm going to continue using it, and I might even get the newer one from Metaba. Oh, one last thing. Who needs a hook that big? What am I hooking it on? This thing is awful. By the time I put it in my pants, it's halfway down to my ankles. So, second battery gun that we have. We have a few of these. It's an older generation DeWalt. Um, pretty nice. Not bad. We put a 20 volt battery in it usually. When you put a flex volt battery in it, you might as well not even use it. Because um, it weighs like 400 pounds. I have tried this with multiple types of nails. Pass loads. I've tried the Bossage clip nails. Um, it's great to an extent, but if you have to do anything long term, I've noticed within a day I might get 20 jams. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the gun, but I've done it on a few of them. I've used a few different ones. I've used the pass load nails, they help. But long story short is this thing does nothing but jam. Maybe it's how I'm using it, I'm not sure. Lastly, we're big with pneumatic. If we're building a house, I wanna use this. It's a Bostitch nail gun. You know, it holds a, an abundant amount of nails. It's, every time it's reliable. We don't have any issues with the jamming. We don't have any issues with it um, being too heavy. It's been pretty consistent. No, just take care of it. Oil your gun and you won't have any issues. So my point and what I'm trying to get across in this video is the battery guns are great for renovations. I love them for small projects. But if I'm building a house or if I want to build something that's going to take several days, I'm using this. The noise of the compressor and a good hose, 10 times out of 10, is going to beat these. I mean, if you think something different, tell me. I want to hear it in the comments. If you don't like this one, but you like the Milwaukee one or even a pass load, tell me now. Um, we have some projects coming up, and I'm looking to get a few more guns. I'm open to trying anything and letting you guys know what I think. But more importantly, I want to know what you think. I like the DeWalt so far. Too many jams. The Hitachi, solid just heavy and I hate the aerosol can looking thing and there's a reason they've been using air guns for forever so let me know what you think in the comments leave one down below I'd love it if you'd subscribe and I appreciate you watching